Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Morgan Taylor Sing 2 Holiday Collection for 2021. I will admit, I was extremely excited about this collection when I saw the pictures. Number one, because I have four-year-old toddlers and they love music. So when Sing came out, you know, they were watching it. I, I've probably seen it about 450 million times. That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> I know everything by heart and I just think it's a fun movie. So when I saw that Morgan Taylor was collabing with them, I was really, really excited. And two, I was excited because they look like such great traditional Christmas colors. As we've noticed, SE, Orly, you know, some other brands out there, their colors are not exactly, um, you know, the traditional green, red, silver, white that we see for Christmas every year. But I feel like when I saw these pictures of this collection, I felt like it was perfect. It was giving us that glitter, that glam. It, I was just over the moon. But when I got them and I saw them in person, I was a little bit let down. I'm not saying I don't like them because I really, really do like them. They are beautiful, beautiful polishes with amazing formulas, but I was a little let down. So in order to find out why I was a little let down, let's keep watching the swatches and then I'll explain there. Okay, first up we have Shake It Till You Make It and this one is described as a light brown cream. Look at the formula for such a light color semi-light color the formula is amazing you can tell right off the bat that this is going to cover perfectly in just two coats morgan taylor's formula is so good and i love their wide paddle brushes next up we have miss crawley chick and this one is described as a green metallic this was one of the ones that I was a little let down by because I didn't think it was going to be a metallic. I thought it was going to be a glitter, a holographic glitter, something like that based off of the photos. Let me know in the comments below if you guys feel like their promo photos were a little bit misleading because I really, really feel like they were very misleading. Next up we have All Eyes on Mina and it's described as a champagne metallic. Okay, I just went back and looked at the promo photos and I don't know, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I was just seeing things incorrectly and thinking that some of these shades were going to be glitters and not metallics. Please let me know what you guys originally thought when you saw when you first saw promo pictures of this collection. I'm really curious if we all thought the same thing. Next up is Red Shore City Rouge and this one is described as a cranberry cream. And look at this, you guys, we have a one coat wonder. I didn't even bother doing a second coat because look at the coverage. It is amazing. I love it. Perfect, perfect holiday color. Next up, we have Rosie Rosita, and this one is described as a red shimmer. I love Rosita in the Sing movies. She is so cute. I think a lot of us can identify with her. This shade is an amazing shade. I wish that Morgan Taylor would get a little bit better with their shade descriptions. I mean, they're just plain like blue metallic, green metallic, yellow gold shimmer. You know, nothing wow about these shade descriptions. Next up we have Front of the House Glam and it is a dark gray cream. 
I can also see some purple in here. Not sure if it's just because it has some purple undertones, maybe. Um, I can definitely see some purple. This one in my camera, it kind of looked black on the nails, and it's another one coat wonder. Next up, we have Coming Up Crystal, and this one is a holographic glitter. This is what I thought the other metallic shades were going to look like. I thought they were going to have these big glitters in them, and I mean, I'm glad that we at least have this one. I'm glad they at least gave us one shade that looks like this. This shade is stunning. I get New Year's Eve vibes from this polish. So pretty. I love it. <laughs> Next up we have Breakout Star, and this one is described as a blue metallic. I'm loving this one. I did not want to take it off. Every time I moved my nails, I would get a different shift there with the green. This one is absolutely stunning. I think this is my absolute favorite Morgan Taylor collection so far. And then probably the second runner-up is their recent summer collection for 2021. S they did so good. Next up is Ready to Work It, and this is a dark brown cream. This one is not a one coat wonder like some of the other polishes in this collection, but it still has great coverage. It has a great formula, and you will get easy, easy coverage in just two quick coats. Next up, we have Moon Theater Shine, and this one is described as a gray cream. I love the pun in the name of this one, Moonshine. <laughs> this one is so good. And the color, ah, oh, it's stunning, stunning, stunning. Again, not quite a one coater. I mean, this one is just barely needing that second coat. If your nails are just slightly shorter than mine, you can probably get away with just one coat. next up is it's showtime and this one is described as a berry cream i absolutely love berry shades i i can't get enough of them give me all the berry shades <laughs> again this one is not quite a one coater but again just like the gray one if you have shorter nails than mine you may get away with doing just one coat the formula on this on these creams in this collection is just excellent. And last but not least, we have Gunther gets Gunther's get down. <laughs> this one is described as a yellow gold shimmer. I love this one. It reminds me of one of the shades in the SE 2019 holiday collection. That one had a lot of glitter and was super glam. And this reminds me of the shade Caught on Tape. So it's a beautiful polish with a beautiful formula. I, I, I have no complaints. I love it. So that was the collection, you guys. What did you think? They're beautiful, aren't they? Morgan Taylor has such a good formula. I honestly think they're kind of an underrated brand. We don't hear about them as much as we do other brands like, you know, SE, OPI, Orly. Uh, I wonder why that is. And also, you know, maybe it's because they're not as easily accessible as other brands polishes are. For example, I can't go into Target and buy Morgan Taylor. It's not there. Um, so maybe if they were a little bit more easily accessible, we would hear about them a lot more. But back to the reason why I was a little bit disappointed by this collection. I was expecting 
the polishes to look really super glittery packed. I was expecting really red rich glitters, you know, um, green rich glitters. I, I was just expecting a little bit more of that, um, you know, jeweled look from them. And instead they look kind of like just shimmery polishes. So I think that their promo pictures were a little bit misleading and that it, oh, it was such a disappointment for me because seeing that picture is what got me so excited about the collection. So, you know, that's why I was a little bit disappointed when I saw these because I was expecting, you know, that big glitter bombs basically. But with that being said, I do believe that this collection is an amazing collection. It is very good. There is not one dud in this collection. So I highly recommend, you know, you getting it. And it's also a bonus again, that it's about Sing 2. Um, I can't wait to see that movie. I know it'll be exciting. I know my kids will probably watch it a million times again. So <laughs> um, I, I can't wait. So please let me know what you guys thought of this collection down below. I want to hear from you. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.